Now for a slightly more jaundiced view of redemption, here's Life360 contributor Jake Johansson. When I think about redemption, a key part of redemption is owning up. And what that means is you did something bad, nobody knows about it. But it's driving you nuts, not taking responsibility for your actions. So you're telling yourself, you take responsibility for your actions. You act like a man. That's an expression for owning up, to act like a man. Even though men are more prone to deception where women are concerned uh, than the other way around. At least that's what people think. A man is more likely to cheat on a woman than vice versa. Maybe that's because men are more prone to lying. Could be. That's the accepted wisdom. You might also say that women like to sleep with married guys more than men like to sleep with married ladies. Now who's the bad dog? I'm a little off the subject here. Uh, owning up. So few people really own up. I mean, take responsibility for their actions before they get caught. That's owning up. That's something to be proud of. Pretty rare, though. Not many examples. George Washington owned up about chopping down the cherry tree when he was a boy, and we are still talking about it. Boyhood liar redeemed as father of our country. Cheating spouses don't own up. They lie and deny until they're busted. Then they go with the next most plausible lie. You did, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you ought to impeach a guy for that. But I have to say, it's not really a redeeming quality. But hey, let's forget about the president. That's over. I'm sorry I brought it up. Let's just be glad that presidents never lie about important things. Only infidelity. And maybe Enron. You ever watch NYPD Blue? You gotta be nuts to own up without a lawyer. Don't say anything. Let your lawyer talk. Maybe he can get you community service. Maybe you did it. But maybe the cops made a mistake. Maybe they're racist. Maybe you did it. But maybe the gloves shrunk when they dried out, and you will walk on reasonable doubt. But, hey, let's forget about OJ. That's over. I'm sorry I brought it up. What most people do is confess and act contrite once they are caught, so as to reduce the consequences of their actions. People own up then. Once you're caught, the rules change. Then admit everything that everyone already knows. After you talk to your lawyer, get a lawyer. Never without a lawyer. Maybe he can get you into rehab. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I have a problem. I need help. I want it. That's what the lawyer will have you say. After he knows that they got you. Then you say that. Otherwise, shut up and smoke your crack until you catch on fire and run screaming into the street. I, I, I know it is hard to have a drug problem. I have friends who have drug problems and alcohol issues. Sober 10 years, some of them, and they can't even get an audition for the part of the guy who brings Allie McBeal her coffee, much less a straight job offer for the recurring role of her love interest. I mean, I know Robert Downey Jr. is a great actor, but I am not buying him anymore as the guy who wants to get cleaned up. But hey, let's forget about Robert Downey Jr. I, we all like him. I'm sorry I brought him up. Besides, in general, we love a celebrity going for rehab redemption. Everybody roots for you and wants to help you. You deserve it. You need help. You want it. Lord knows there are enough bad examples of substance abusing famous people out there blazing your trail. True, most of them who've been at it a while are either dead or caught on fire a few times. Keith Richards is the only example of a super hardcore party man who will not go down. But still, look at him. That's your role model? I mean, sure, he's so rich that he can have his blood filtered every two years in Sweden or Norway or wherever, and who wouldn't want to be that rich? Plus, he does play the guitar real good, and he has sex with supermodels half his age. But still, look at him. That's a bad-looking hero. But that's your goal. If everything goes according to plan, you wind up Keith Richards. Everyone else is either dead, burnt, or still young. Anyway. Forget about Keith Richards. He's an anomaly. I'm sorry I brought him up. <laughs> the point is, if people want real redemption, they're going to have to start owning up instead of lawyering up. You know what? Technically, I probably shouldn't be saying any of this without running it by a lawyer first. <laughs> I'm just a comedian. <laughs> what do I know, right? You know what? It's all a joke. Forget it. I'm sorry I brought it up.